Bob Dylan, when I was talking to him, said, you know, the world doesn't need any more songs. I said, really, you mean that? He goes, yeah, you know, if no one wrote another song, we got enough. There are enough great songs. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if he was joking. And then when I talked to Tom Petty, he said, well, he told me that too. That's a joke. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> and so with a lot of these guys, you know, it's, it's not even sure. I'm not even sure when they're joking and when they're not. But um, <laughs> Dylan really impressed me as being someone, like all great songers, songwriters who think deeply about every aspect of songwriting. Music, the chords, the words, the imagery, the rhyme scheme. I mean, as I said, there are no rules. But these great craft elements, really hold a song together in a beautiful way. And if you analyze a Dylan song, sometimes they'll have these ABAB -A -B rhyme schemes where every line rhymes with the, 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 the next line after that one. So every line has a rhyme. And it's something Lord Byron did. You know, it's a Byronic rhyme scheme. And I'd just like to say Byronic whenever I can. <laughs> but uh, I mentioned that to Dylan. He goes, yeah, yeah, that is like something Lord Byron would do. And then he recited Byron for me. So that's a guy that's paid attention to how people have put words together. And, uh, and he pays attention to not only Lord Byron, but to pop songs. And he said, you know that song, People? And I said, you know the, the Barbara Streisand one? Yeah, yeah. You know, people who need people are the luckiest people in the world. So yeah, I know that. He goes, well, you think that's true? You think they're really the luckiest people in the world? And he was thinking that, you know, is that true? <laughs> so even a you know, line like that, you know, he's thinking deeply. Like, should that even be in a song? Bob Dylan, you know, he mentioned I got to interview Bob Dylan and no one does. Well. He didn't just say yes, you know, when I first asked him. It took a long time, and it was really after I did a series of interviews with Paul Simon. And Dylan pays attention to these guys. You know, even Bob Dylan pays attention. And he said, you know, he, Paul Simon talked a lot to you, didn't he? You know, and yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, he'll do it. But it took me about six years to convince Dylan. But he said to me, you know, it's a magical thing, popular song. Trying to press it down into everyday numbers doesn't quite work. It's not a puzzle. There aren't pieces that fit. It doesn't make a complete picture that's ever been seen. But you know, as they say, thank God for songwriters. And I think that's really instructive, that uh, that's part of the joy of it, that, that, that it isn't a puzzle. Though putting the song together is kind of like a puzzle, but it's a puzzle where you get to determine how it, how it goes together. Uh, Dylan and all these songwriters, they taught me one of the rules that isn't true is that you know you write a song and if you don't get it the first time, that's it, you'll never get it again. Some people say, you know, like Dylan actually made a comment a long time ago that one of the saddest things about songwriting is trying to reconnect with an idea that you had previously and not being able to connect with it. And I think we all know that feeling. It's like, this was great last night, I thought it was great and where, where is it? And uh, I talked to Jimmy Webb, who's a uh, great songwriter in terms of lyrics and music, Wichita Lyman by the time I got to Phoenix, I got to Phoenix and, you know, a million amazing songs. And uh, he said what he does, he said, tells himself, play, play one note, and that way I get myself going. And then momentum builds and I really get into the joy of it. And I'm going, oh look, there's the piece I need right there. You know, I'm like a kid with a jigsaw puzzle, a glittering magical jigsaw puzzle. It becomes very rewarding for me as I approach the end of it and I keep fitting things in and it continues to feel good to me. It's just the best feeling I've ever had. And I think we all know that feeling, you know, when you get something and you realize this is good. And sometimes you might not have that feeling for a long time, but when you get it, it can sometimes last for a while. You know, some songwriter said, a good song, you know, I can coast on that for years. Others said, you know, two weeks at the most, and then I go back to feeling bad about myself. <laughs> <laughs>